Hello guys, today uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to install the PS4 camera Windows drivers. Uh, first of all, you are going to, to need one of these um, adapters. I'm not sure if the new um, official Sony adapters will work. Uh, probably will work the same. Um, but now I'm going to show you how to install the drivers. Um, I'm I, I have now two cameras. The the bottom one is the version one. The top one is version two. I'm going to demonstrate um, the difference between them. Uh, also, you need to make sure. Your computer has the USB 3.0 version because the camera will not work on USB 2.0. Uh, now, going to to show you how to to install. First of all, uh, you need to open the device manager. Right, and then. You need to connect the, the the plug to the USB 3.0 and then connect the camera. You are going to hear uh, the window sound the device connection okay and on the other device under the other device USB boot um, I'm going to record the screen so you can so like you can see how to install properly okay on the device manager on the other device you see USB boot then download the drivers uh, on this website download as a zip file then you can save on into the desktop I'm going to save down desktop so to be easier for you to show you guys then extract the files i'm using the 7 zip so you can extract here it will create a folder with the same name as the file as the zip file now you need to open the folder and e execute the install driver then you click yes next and and finish so yeah now it's the driver is installed next step is you need to run orbs eye camera firmware loader it will load the firmware to the to the camera and now you can see usb camera under the cameras on the device manager you can open as well uh, windows camera to make sure if the camera works and as you can see uh, the camera is working now so you have the both lenses working at the same time you can also connect a, a second camera uh, by connecting in the second USB 3.0 on your computer so once you once you connect you are going to see another USB boot and then you need to to run the loader again I'm going to show you plug the camera then go to the folder you extracted those installation files load the firmware again now you have a second camera installed under the cameras 
both with the same name. Now we, uh, I'm using OBS Studio to check both cameras if they are working as well. So you can check on my other video about how to, to set up the camera on the OBS. Yeah, you can now see uh, both cameras working at the same time. See? They are working at the same time when I when I switch the camera. And you can see the colors are different to, from the another. So version 2 um has better better image quality i believe you can also use your communication software such as zoom um, using a virtual camera the obs has now a virtual camera so as you can see uh, i'm using the obs virtual camera if you have like more than one camera you can switch uh, between the cameras using OBS also you can use Skype on Skype same thing go to settings audio and video and choose OBS virtual camera yeah so if you like just press the thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more uh, videos in the future. I hope you um, I clarify how to install the drivers. Thank you. See you next time.